work we're working, you know? Cleaning up the valley. So whenever time you got good arm um, drainage, good runoff. You know, this valley fed sizzler, so I'm cleaning it up. Restorative justice. Augustown home coming. Augustown Film Festival. So we're cleaning up the community, paint the top, cleaning up the valley. We're gonna do a lot of ca catch crap, quick crap, run here, cash crap, catch crap, <laughs> cash crap, catch crap. Tell you that already. Right. What? Work we're working, you know? Cleaning up the valley. So whenever time you got good arm um, drainage, good runoff. You know, this valley fed sizzler, so I'm cleaning it up. Restorative justice. Augustown home coming. Augustown Film Festival. So we're cleaning up the community. Paint the top, cleaning up the valley. I'm gonna do a lot of cash. catch crap, quick crap, run here, cash crap, catch crap. <laughs> Cash crap, catch cap. Papaya. So them this is judgment yard, you know. And we're doing a little cleaning up in the valley, in the pole. Have a little museum, you know. The tabernacle over there. You know? And I'm I bogle. And I'm like a rose apple. I love the farming more than anything else in the world. Food is the staff of life. I don't want hungry to dig up my tribe. That's why I love to plant food. <laughs> yeah. I wanna run from Frank. Comfortable, stop the ball and the crime, and they'll be unavailable to go on and on and on. Put your book, put your book, put your book. If you love your book, book, make it put your book. Thing about your book, put your book, put your book. If you love your book, book, make it put your book. I'm Priest Kelly from the Elia Isolasi Aija, Rastafari Riley, to Penjura Catholic Church. Situated at 11 Welcome Avenue, Waterhouse. 
Uh, I'm at Judgment Yard at the moment among Sizzler Kolonji otherwise Miguel Lan Miguel Collins sorry about that Miguel Collins yes we all associate up here in Judgment Yard where we gather together we are in here have this studio where we launch um, this youth foundation so we just been here at the studio as in to we paint the place and get the place up to date that meeting visitors and there is a preparation of a, a museum to hold the, the, the artifacts of all the rest of our right artifacts and things so as a priest of the Judah Coptic Church I stand towards the upliftment of His Majesty glory within this island here because it was the only king of kings that ever tried this island and we have to endorse him as the greatest monarchy from out of the Ethiopian World Federation amongst all the mansions is them being as Rastafari sons and daughters within the diaspora He came here and he gave us that glory to know that the Rastafari people was a people who were downtrodden, rejected by the, the, the major society of this island. That um, the first Prime Minister, Alexander Clark, otherwise named Bustamante, who said, anywhere you see one or two or three Rastas, shoot first, ask Christian after. Well, His Majesty came here and made us be a people to reckon with as a force within this island. Not of the we are called now the colonial theologian religion but of the diaspora, within the diaspora we rise up and as a church rise up in the diaspora uplifting, upkeeping the laws of his majesty that is totally different from the Anglican and the, the Roman Catholic because those were the two denominations that uphold the slave trade and having the, the African people within such brutal barbaric life of living till the day of emancipation so we the Rastafari sons and daughters in this island here have to stand up for a cause that is compass the colonial era of the slave trade because after giving us emancipation they have worked us coming down till 1962 wherein we have got an independent that is still being administrated by the colonialists the capitalists is in so we are not totally free until we the Ethiopian sons and daughters of the African origin is being totally free that we can emancipate ourselves and go forward to the shores of Africa, go to the land of Africa. We can only be free and we, till we, the African sons and daughters, enter back to even, for instance, the door of no return, going forward to the African continent. That's all we, we can be totally free from these colonial masters that call themselves modern, I would put term it now, modern theologian political ideology because that is what they are trying to incarcerate us on this island for so long you see we the african people were a set of free people but after these colonials come there within their barbaric way of taking us away taking us on these plantations down here and such brutal administration that they administrate unto us after freeing us through emancipation coming up to 62 we were indulged within the, um, the anglican churches the anglican and the roman catholic churches and the schooling that we have got through their, their denomination of church schools and that we end up as just um, well educated for the job market to Europe 
not to uplift our African continent. Now, even upon this island here, you see? So we are still being subjected to the colonial slave mentality on this island. We are in Oiva in Majesty 66 when he came here. He said, Ethiopia and Jamaica are one. The people in Ethiopia and the people in Jamaica are blood brothers and sisters. So we, as the, the Rastafarian Virgin and Sistering, must know where we are, where we stand, and where we are go, to go. You see? We must now find ourselves within the prophecy of even, for instance, Leviticus chapter 25, verse 8, wherein it is told that in the 49 years, represent the 2011, where we are supposed to be free, liberated, and return to our ancestors' borders. 2012, make it the 50th year of the anniversary of the independence, where no one is trying to set the African free from these captivators, captivers that hold us in captivity down in this island. So the Bible that King James have given us, they are passaging it to show us that we are supposed to be free from these colonial masters that is still holding us underneath a modern theologian, political slave mentality down here. So I, the priest of as the Royal Ethiopian and Judah Catholic Church, is calling upon the relevant authority from the church to the politician to make us have dialogue that we can discuss even the passage of these books that were given to us as a priest of the Judah Catholic Church. I am calling at the relevant authority to set we the African sons and daughters that his majesty came here and recognize and show them that we the sons and daughters is now a part of the Ethiopian monarchy and not no more up under the Queen colonial monarchy. So I give thanks for this interview and it's a great pleasure to expose my simple knowledge to the world and to the people that is being observing us. Blessed love and to the, the nation and to every nation kindred and tongue upon this earth here. Before I go, I would call upon the seven churches, all the churches that know the truth and the right. I'm calling upon them now to get together and organize and centralize and let us clean up this mess that the Anglican Church and the Roman Catholic Church have done to our African ancestors and to we the children of now. So glory to God, blessed Lord. This is Daily Bread saying big up to Sisla Kalonji, man like Gasso, man like Tian, man like Nari, whole Judgment Yard family, Silasia, Jack Rastafari.